Titch rolling, we only have 10 minutes. All right, we better get going. Okay, okay, this is this is Josh Taylor of On Track Audio. This is Gilbert Young of... Ga hmm. Have you figured out yet? This is Gilbert Young of Gilbert Young. Close enough. And today, I want to ask Gilbert a few questions about his AG2022 integrated amplifier. Because I wasn't going to, I had nothing to ask him about, but for the first time in six months, I've, I've visited here six, seven, eight times, and every single time, there's been something different about this amplifier. Today is notable because there's nothing different about it. It's the same as the last time, which I'm gathering means you've kind of finished with it for the moment. Yeah, I, I kind of finished and uh, then I move on to something else, so I finish with this for now. Okay, so if you started with it and you finished with it, it had to have a purpose. There was a reason for you to go to start with what it was and to go as far as you did with it. Tell that, me about the process. It was a multi-purpose test bed. Yeah. And initially I started as because I need to test a new heat sink and build in a whole thing and test a new heat sink. kind of a waste of time and just spend a lot of time. So, and then after I, after I built a part of testing his thing, I decided to put a new circuit in it, input and output stage. And then I put more, put switches so I can actually flip in different circuits to test, to test the effects of different components and stuff. Yeah, and there's, now there's plugs and input jacks all over the thing. I mean, a couple of the, a couple, obviously there's speaker inputs, obviously there's line level signal inputs, but there's also inputs for power supply supplements. I don't even know how many times I add things on, but <laughs> but I add on this. This, this is actually separate from top and bottom. I have add on SP cap pack, various size of SP cap pack, various size of FCF, so I can combine them and singly test them and see the effect of the combination. Okay, just to clear that up for anyone who's watching this and doesn't know the terminology. There's a difference between an SP cap pack and a difference, and as opposed to the FCF. Okay? Yes. Yes. Talk about that for a minute, if you don't mind. Okay, it's SP cap, SP cap pack. SP cap. Pack. I was designed the SP cap pack initially way, way, way back then, more than ten years ago. Uh, it has evolved since then. They were designed for originally designed for all of our line level component for source state parts, which is including a line level line stage preamp, DA converter, headphone amp. And phono stages. Yeah, I mean the first the first one I ever the first one is I ever saw were on phono well, stages. Was phono stages. Yeah. And the FCF was a um, uh, power supply supplement designed for output stage for power amp and integrated amp and receiver. And initially it was actually designed to improve the vintage equipment. Yep. And then and then it, it, the result was so great, and I start to thinking about how to input. <laughs> it kind of snowballed from there. Yes, it's, it's really like did. New, newer stuff and add on and add on. So, so then then we don't have to build into new new every time you every time I build a new app, a new model. We just put a new jack, we put a jack on it, so you can add on later. You don't have to put such big investment initially. Right, and you don't have to just sell what you've got and buy something new. Yes. You can, yeah, yeah, you can, can upgrade. Upgrade. And it is, it is a plug and play upgrade. You uh -huh. don't have to send it back. Yep. Okay, I think that's enough for part one. We got a lot more information in part two. You mean it's almost 10 minutes? It's, no, it's not almost 10 minutes, but it's time to cut because we got more coming up for part two. All right. Cut!